What's up guys, it is the T-Ball and I'm back with another video. So today we're going to be breaking down how Jonas Jerebko fits with the Golden State Warriors. So before I start, if you want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. So Jonas Jerebko signed a deal with the Warriors after being waived by the Utah Jazz. He's a 6'10 power forward that should get some backup minutes in the Warriors front court, especially with DeMarcus Cousins out with his injuries still. So how will he fit in Golden State? So Drebko will be a solid fit on offense, as he could be used as a stretch four to help with the Warriors spacing. He shot 41.4% from three last season with the Utah Jazz, and I think that percentage may go up even more by getting open looks playing next to guys like Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, and Klay Thompson. He should be deadly from the corners, as he shot about 50% from there last season, and hopefully he'll get a lot of looks there. We may also see him at the five at times as well, as the Warriors may look to play Draymond Green less there, and save wear and tear on his body until the playoffs. Drebko can stretch the floor and be a nightmare matchup for traditional centers to guard him from the perimeter. He is also a decent rebounder and the Warriors are going to need him to get physical and get boards in the paint, with Cousins out and when Draymond Green needs a breather. However, on defense Drebko can't really protect the rim too well so he'd have a lot of trouble guarding fives on this end of the floor. But against other stretch fours he's pretty mobile and can stay in front of them pretty easily. I've also seen him in the past be able to guard some perimeter players as well, given his pretty fast foot speed and he's able to stay in front of quicker players and give good contests on their drives and jumpers. We saw this back in the 2016 NBA playoffs when Drebko was on the Celtics and against the Atlanta Hawks in Game 3 he did a great job defending Dennis Schroeder and Jeff Teague on their drives. He's pretty active defensively and I think he could be a huge asset for the Warriors in their switch heavy defensive scheme. Overall, I think Drebko is a good signing for the Warriors, and it helps them get even deeper in the front court. He should fill in Omri Caspi's old role, and hopefully he'll provide more shooting and rebounding than Omri did. I think he'll play well, and I'm excited to watch him play in Golden State. So that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. Also, follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball, business, or have any video ideas you want me to do. Let me know as I do try to get back to all you guys there. Drop a comment down below on your thoughts on this signing for the Warriors. Do you think it was good or bad? Let me know as I do read all comments. And I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys here as well. So once again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for my next video. Peace.